Hello everyone, welcome back to Experiencing Life with me. Today we have our September edition of the Tokyo Treat Box. So you know, I posted one or two videos in the past, just going through trying some of these Japanese snacks, and I just, I love trying new things. So let's go ahead and see what the box is. The box this month is I think moon festival themed from what I understand. So that's why I have all the moons and the rabbits and everything. Moon Fest Snacktacular. If you watched these videos before, we just take our booklet letting us know what the snacks are and we go in order. So first item is Kit Kat Matcha. Indulge in the perfect blend of matcha and chocolate while enjoying the full moon. Now I'm not a big matcha fan. We're still gonna try it. Let's see how it tastes. And they gave you a bag with 11 pieces. So that's pretty good to me. Oh, it doesn't smell bad actually. Yep, tastes like matcha. <laughs> I like the chocolate. I'm gonna taste the chocolate. But matcha to me tastes like grass. I'm one of those people that thinks it tastes like grass. So if you like matcha, it's delicious. If you don't like matcha, maybe not so much. Next item is twist corn barbecue flavor. These corn snacks are made for crunching and munching the night away. And they're in this cute little bag with the little eyes on. What is that? A tornado? <laughs> hmm. Let's give them a try. Oh, they're small. They're like little like Cheeto puff type things. Japanese corn chips, corn snacks, corn crackers, whatever you want to call them. Top tier. Love them. Those are good. Those are good. Next item is a crunchy cookie ball. Rich chocolate on the outside, crispy cookie on the inside, and they make the perfect snack pair pairing. They're giving me Whopper vibes. Mmm. Interesting. It is very light like a Whopper. You can kind of taste that it's a cookie flavor. But not what I was expecting. The chocolate is very rich. It's good. So not bad. Next up we have caramel popcorn. This generous coated caramel popcorn snack is the best for sharing at a moon party. We'll see. You can't really go wrong with caramel corn, I feel like. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Well, that's rich. I get a stomach ache when I eat these foods. Because it's so much at one time. The sweet, the savory more sweet. <laughs> Moving right along, we have garlic shrimp Japanese style chips. Flavored with a strong kick of garlic shrimp, these chips are the ultimate way to savor the night. We'll give them a try. There's one in here that I will tell you I will not be trying. And I'll tell you what it is in a few minutes. <laughs> mm. Yep, smells like the shrimp chips. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Obviously not my favorite because I'm not a big fan of shrimp chips, but you get garlic on the front end and you get some shrimp on the back end. Well, it's not terrible, but it's not something that I would like sit down on the couch and snack on. Premium black thunder butter flavor. That's literally what it's called. Each crunchy bite combines buttery cookie goodness with chocolatey nutty sweetness. Goodness, it took me a minute. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. No, maybe. <laughs> it tastes like a shortbread cookie, which is good. So it makes it super, that's what the buttery flavor is. The chocolate's okay. I don't know. It's okay. These, I'm going to try to say it correctly because I'm going to read the Japanese portion of it. Cream. Ko. Ro. Mm. Ko. Ro. Mm. Lemon flavor. Bite into these crispy and creamy layered treats with a mellow lemon flavor. I love the boxes that open like this. You can see the lemon inside and it has like a cookie wafer outside. That tastes like a lemon meringue pie. 
Like that is like real lemon. Strong lemon. That is so good. Another one I will not be trying. So I guess there's two in this box. Banana Castella. They seem to really like banana and they put banana in every single box. I'm just not a big artificial banana fan. And then I also read the description. This fluffy Castella cake is filled with a banana infused Japanese sweet bean paste. So it's the sweet bean paste infused with the banana flavor. So we're gonna pass on that one. The Golden Moon Senbei. This soy sauce and honey flavored snack will light up your taste buds. Now this, I think I've, not this specific one, but I've had Senbei before and I love it. It's so good. It kind of has like a, you can tell there's a sugary honey glaze on it. Oh, it does smell like soy sauce. Doesn't say what it is. I figured it's some sort of like rice cake cracker. Mm. I love senbei though. Senbei and peanut snack mix. Infused with a strong Japanese curry flavor, this snack has a bit of a spicy kick. Here's one of the senbei. Whoa. <laughs> you can taste the curry a lot more than I was expecting. And it tastes just like Japanese curry. Full Moon Rabbit Senbei. Flavored with a blend of six different soy sauces, this cute snack is packed with flavor. I don't know, there is different kinds of soy sauces, but okay. <laughs> These ones do not look the same as that other one. <laughs> I don't know how there's six different soy sauces in there because it doesn't taste like anything. Not my favorite, I like the other senbei better. The second one that I will not be trying, fried squid senbei. <laughs> this deliciously crunchy senbei captures that perfectly salty and umami squid flavor. I'm just not into fish flavor and I know this would have so much fish flavor to it. So we're gonna pass on this one too. Mini mochi candy. This mini mochi candy is nice and chewy and covered with sweet sugar crystals. Oh, interesting. I've only had real mochi maybe like once or twice. I've had the mochi ice cream a lot, which is mochi, but it has the ice cream in the middle, so I feel like it takes some of that authenticity out of it. It also just doesn't taste like anything. I think you're expecting like a strawberry, maybe a green apple and something else. And it's just mochi, just plain mochi. The last item is gonna be Mini Moonlight Cookies. These bite-sized snacks are perfect for sharing under the moonlight. They look like shortbread cookies, so how can they be bad? Shortbread. I haven't had shortbread in so long. Thank you for coming along and experiencing these new flavors with me. I hope to see you in the next video.